Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and start on Weezer's uh, Island in the Sun. Now, um, this song actually, most of it's just contained uh, with rhythm guitar. Um, we're going to start on the, on the part that starts at the very beginning, which are the chords. Um, it's going to sound like this. Now you can actually play those chords as open position um, <clears throat> chords down here. The only problem is um, it's not going to sound quite, uh, you know, it's not going to be exactly right. They're the right chords, but they don't have some of these high notes in there um, that you want to make it sound exactly like the song. So I'm going to teach you today with the bar chords. Um, someday I may come back and, and do it with the open, open position chords, but for right now we're just going to use the bar chords. Okay, now, what we're doing is an E minor, an A minor, a D, and a G. Okay, those are the chords that we're using. Now, um, if you know those chords down here, you can, uh, if you already know them, you can go ahead and just substitute those in. But uh, let's go ahead and learn the bar chords. So, remember, a bar chord is any time you're going to press across one sh more than one string with one finger. In this case this first finger is going to be pressing down the A string and the E string in the seventh fret. So, start off by laying your first finger across the seventh fret. Remember this is the twelfth, ninth, seventh, okay? And you're going to bar across there. Now you really want to make sure that you're actually pressing down the A and the E string. The ones in the middle don't matter as much because other fingers are going to be in front of it. Okay, so let's put down the other fingers. You're going to take your third finger and put it on the ninth fret of the D string for this note. Okay? Your pinky, your pinky is going to go in the ninth fret of the G string. Okay? So there's your pinky. Your middle finger is going to go down in the eighth fret of the B string. Okay? So these three fingers are playing these notes. Okay? Your first finger is barring in the 7th fret for the E string, the high E string, that skinny one, and the A string in the 7th fret, okay? So your chord should sound like this. Okay? Let's get to the second chord. It's an A minor bar chord. Um, for A minor, we're actually going to go to the 5th fret. This is the 5th fret, and we're going to bar all the way across this time. We're not going to leave off that E string, so we're going all the way across. And now, we, it kind of looks a lot like the one we just did, but everything's moved up one string. So your third finger is going to be in the seventh fret of the A string for this note. Okay. Your pinky is going to be in the seventh fret of the D string. Your middle finger or second finger is going to be in the sixth fret of the G string. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we're doing an A minor, so you leave that one up. Do not put that one down. That makes it a major chord. So leave that finger up. And then we actually only need our bar finger now. So um, we've got we're barring in the fifth fret for the low E string, the thick one. Third finger for the seventh fret on the A string. Pinky is playing the seventh fret of the D string. And then the G string, B string, and E string are barred with my first finger. Okay. That's what your chord should sound like. Okay? So those are your first two chords. E minor. A minor. That's our, sec our third chord right there. This is our D. Now, um, we're going to take... We're not going to use the thick E string here, so you're actually going to mute it uh, with the edge of your finger here. You basically want to come up and touch that string with the edge of, your, edge of your finger. If you get on top of it, it's going to play on accident. So you want to get right here and then go to the side and touch it with your actual tip of your finger so that it doesn't play. Okay, so your first finger is actually not the bar this time. It's only going to play the A string in the fifth fret. Your third finger is going to be the bar this time. It is going to play the seventh fret of the D the G, and the B, OK? 
okay? And then the skinny E string is muted. So we're only playing the middle four middle strings here, A, D, G, and B. So that's your D bar chord. Okay, so so far we've got so E minor, A minor, D, and now we're going to play the G. Now what that is, um, is you're going to bar in the third fret. Remember, this is the third fret with that dot right there. Um, and you're going to take your third finger, put it in the fifth fret on the A string. Take your pinky and put it on the fifth fret of the D string. Now take your middle finger or your second finger and put it in the fourth fret of the G string. And then everything else is barred. So the B and the E string are barred with your first finger in the third fret. So your first finger is playing the E string, or the, the low E string, the thick one, the B string, and the high E string, the thin one, uh, in the third fret with your first finger. So here's what that chord should sound like. This is a G. Okay, now here's how they'll go together. Now, let's go ahead and work on that rhythm a little bit. Now, let's start with our first chord. The rhythm, uh, you want to actually, before you go into this part of the lesson, you actually want to practice those chord changes. So just practice holding the chords and strumming them and getting to the next chord as fast as possible. You can even do that with the song once you're fast enough to do that. And you only strum it once, so you've got time to change while they're still playing the rhythm. Um, and that helps you... Uh, stay full speed before you're actually totally ready to do it. So let's go ahead and do the rhythm now. Hold down your E minor and the rhythm uh, that I use sounds like this. Okay, that's your first one. Now I have a chuck in there. A chuck is when you're muting strings by touching them here but I'm not pressing down anymore. If you can see I'm pressing it there letting up the pressure pressing it, letting up the pressure. So when I have the pressure down, you hear the chord. When I let up, you don't hear anything. And you don't have to grab like this or anything like that. You just keep your fingers where they're at. You're touching all the strings already anyways. Okay? So you're going to go ahead and uh, strum twice here and then chuck. Okay? Two downs and then an up. That means you've got um, a chord, then a gap, then a chord, but then no gap in timing, and immediately a chuck. So, da 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 da. da. Then you're going to go to the A minor here. Um, the rhythm of this one is going to sound like this. It's just two downstrokes. You don't have the chuck or anything like that. Okay, so just two down strokes. Then we're going to go to the D chord right after that. Now you've got to be quick at going from this <clears throat> A minor to the D. But your fingers are so close that it's not too, too uh, hard to do that. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'm running out of time. I'm afraid I, I'm not exactly sure how much time I have left, and I know I'm getting close to 10 minutes, so I'd better cut the video off here. And I'll make a second video to um, explain.